Hey, what's up guys? Trekker1996 here, and I'm just doing a little review on my iPod uh, 4G. It, this is the 8GB one. Um, I was just doing a quick review on this. This is the one I used to do all my videos on, but I figured I'd just do a little review. I know I was talking about it, so I figured I'd do it. Um, as you can see, I don't have very many apps. We'll go to my actually. Those are all the ones that came with it. I put Netflix, the Weather Channel, and Facebook on there. Different website stuff. Um, sports. Shopping. Games. Oops. Netflix. Games. I only have two for Xbox Live and Angry Birds, but I, don't, I usually don't play games on this. But Then I have a YouTube stream. That, oh, I want to show you guys YouTube stream, actually. This is all YouTube videos. You can even put my YouTube videos or your own YouTube videos on here. But, yeah, if you click on, like, search. Um, let's see. I don't know. I've never tried this. I mean, I've used this app before, but let's see if I look myself up. Let's see if my videos will come up. Oops. Yeah, let's see if that works. So I just typed in Trucker 1996. Yep. Yeah. And these are all our videos. Well, yeah. Yep, yeah, these are all the videos we've made. And you can download them right to your uh, iPod, which is pretty cool. So yeah, if you guys want to do that, you just download them and then they'll be on there. So, or you can, you know, put in your own videos, you know, whatever you want to do. But I just figured I'd show you that. I never knew you could do that, so that's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, so that's really all the apps I have on there. That's the only page I have on there. And then, you know, emails and stuff. Um, I'm going to take the Otter Box off here just to show you that it's the iPod 4G. Because, I don't know, it, sometimes, here, I'll lock it so I'm not pushing buttons all over the place and shit like that. Hang on one second, guys. It's really a pain in the ass sometimes. I'll show you how to put it on since I've got it. There it is. iPod, 8 gigabyte, Apple iPod. Um, so I'll show you guys how to put it on um, now. So you have this piece, which is like the back, it has a little bit protector for your Apple icon. Uh, don't there might be a protector. I don't even know. I can't. Even can't even tell if there is or isn't, but I don't believe there's a protector back there, but I can try it. I'm like poke it with something, see if it, um, see if it does, you know, if there is or isn't anything. Hang up, I'll go get a pen. I've never actually tried this, but let's see. Nope, there's no protector. I didn't think there was. Just wasn't sure, but yeah, there's no protector here, but there's a protector here. You have a protector... I don't think there's protectors there either. Or yeah, no. Those are protectors there. I don't know why they didn't put one there. Maybe maybe I popped it out or something. But there's protectors there. Either. Um but yeah, this is just the plastic stuff. So I'm just gonna you put this you know the iPod in here. It just slides right in. It's pretty simple. And then you put this plastic cover over it. There's a few snaps that you guys snap in. So it stays in place, but sometimes it's a pain in the ass. It's a pain to do if you're holding a camera. That's why I'm... Okay. Let's see. I think I've got it. Ah. Son of a bitch. Come on, you stupid piece of crap. Hey, let me do this. You guys will get the idea. Oh. 
Oh, because I'm putting it on backwards. I wonder why it's not going on. So yeah, there's a few snakes. What the hell? This thing's a real pain in the ass sometimes. I don't know, I think I broke it, but whatever. So yeah, and then you just put the silicone piece with it. Let's see if I can snap this in. Hang on. I don't know why this doesn't want to snap in. I know this is probably one of my best videos. I should have been prepared for this. Okay, it's in. So then you just take this, you slide the bottom in first. And then, uh, oops. You slide the top in. There we go. I, and then you had to fold those over, but I never use this, so it doesn't matter, but. I cut this only because it was like a, I don't know if you guys can see it, but, you know, try and separate it. But yeah, see, I cut it because, uh, I mean, it was ready to tear anyway, so I just tore it so it would be easier for the thing can, you know, so it can flip. But, yeah, that's um, it really for this. Um, it's not really anything exciting. I mean, it's pretty much like the iPhone, so there's not too much differences. The only difference is there's no calling, but everything else seems to be the same, and obviously no 3G or anything. But um, since I'm making the video, um, since I've got time here, um, I'll show you guys something that I think is pretty cool, I guess. You can agree or disagree with me. Um... Or not iCloud. Where is it? Um, <laughs> trying to remember where it was. Mickey accessibilities. Trying to remember where it was. Oh yeah, here it is. This is the um, um, like if your touch screen doesn't work very well, if you see that little white button there. You can move it wherever you want on the screen. It just stays in like the corners, but if you click on it, you have a few options. Uh, you have the device, which is, you know, like just to do different things and such. Uh, I'm not sure what this one. Oh, that's just to use how many fingers you want. Favorites, you know, how you like to move your screen, I guess. And then the home button just takes you back to the first page. But, um, it's cool like, because, like, I can, if I can, like, raise the volume lower it, I can, well, if I was on a different page, I can, like, rotate it whatever way I want to, I can shake it, like, if music was playing, I would shake it, uh, you can lock it, but, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool, fortunately, it doesn't have a lock thing where, like, you can, like, slide and put in the numbers, but, I, um, I know it's good if, like, your iPod is sensitive, or it doesn't really work with the cases, because sometimes that is the case, it doesn't work very well. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to show you. And, uh, also, oops, that's not it. This is called black and white. I know you guys probably know this, but it's pretty cool, actually. It looks like, you know, if, like, somebody doesn't know how to use it, you can say, oh, I, you know, jailbroke my iPod or something. You can, like, fake them out or something. But, um, although I belief, I'm not too sure, but I I can't think of the website off the top of my head, but there's a way to fake that you have a jailbroken iPod, they have, um, they're almost like protector screens, but they sell them on, uh, I think, I'd have to say maybe like eBay or Amazon, you put it on like this, but instead of having the time on the corners, you get the, like, the real time on your real status bar, like it would, like it won't do any of that, like it'll just... Like, it'll just show everything that's supposed to be on your screen. And you know, what you do is, um, if, like, if, like, say, like, you're going to show somebody quick, you take a picture of your, um, or what you can do is you can do this. Take a picture. Have, like, all the apps. Because, like, yeah, I think, well, you can't customize it, so you have to kind of, it comes, like, as the generic when you buy it. I don't know if you guys have, well, you remember, if you get, like, iPods, they have, like, the, uh, um, like, screen, and it shows, like, all the apps different places, but, um, you can keep the bottom ones, because it won't show there, and it won't show the status bar up there, 
But uh, there won't be any background. It'll just be like black or those raindrop things or whatever. And then like the apps will show up there. So then it can look like you can say, oh, I jailbroke my iPod. Like if you take like a quick picture, like if, you know, like if like you don't have any like apps like I do, like the text free, you can put like something else there or just remove it for the time being or put like FaceTime down there or something. And then you could take a picture and then it will look like that, you know, you can pick somebody else that you have a jailbroken iPod, but. Um, my cousin did, he actually faked out my uncle, he got so pissed at him, and then, I, and then he found out that it was just a sticker, but, and they're really, really cheap, they're like, like 50 cents or something like that, um, I think you can get them on, like, eBay, or, well, I don't even know if they still have them on eBay, but they're like, they're not rare to find, but they're hard to find, because a lot of people don't have them, but it's made by, like, those Chinese people that make the, uh, fake iPhones, you know, like, they're just MP3 players. I made a video about that earlier in my, uh, videos, but, um, so if you want more details on that, you can comment. I'll try and look for some for you, like, at, like, cheap prices. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. This is my iPod, um, just, and by the way, if you guys, um, don't know, but I'm a huge Red Sox fan, so I put this choke official soft drink of the New York Yankees, but which is kind of inconsistent because Red Sox suck right now, so I should probably change that to something else, but hey, what are we going to do about it, right? So uh, if you guys have any apps or whatever you want me to review, um, or I could do the YouTube thing in more in-depth or Star Trek app or whatever you want me to do. Um, hopefully, I'm, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's for the iPad. It's like a Star Trek app, hopefully for my birthday, because I'm having my birthday party May 5th. So, uh, of this year, obviously. So, uh, I'll probably do a, uh, I'll probably buy that app as soon as I get an Apple card and maybe get that. And, um, I started doing research on video cameras. So I might be getting a real video camera instead of using, like, iPods and stuff. My videos will be, like, higher quality or a little bit better quality. So I have to decide which one I want to get. I have my eyes set on three of them. Um, if you guys are familiar with video cameras, I don't know how much you use real video cameras. But um, if you know, I think it's the HMX T10 camera or something. It's made by Samsung. If you guys know of any places besides, like, Amazon, like, Walmart or, uh, you know, Best Buy, if they have them, um, I actually like it because it's, like, the camera, like, the lens is on, like, an angle, but it's, like, really cool, actually, because it's, like, a really good camera, and I think on Amazon they went for, like, 120 maybe, something like that, so, um, if you guys can find that camera, or if you guys know of it, um, if you would just write a comment, um, I just, I'm just trying to look for one, so then I can get a little bit better one instead of using iPods and iPhones, and I haven't used an iPad, but it might come down to that eventually, but, uh, so if you guys can tell me about that, that would be real helpful, so, uh, that's my iPod, and, uh, this is Trucker1996, and we'll see you in the next video.